Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sunburn Albino Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy, the Duelist, episode 73. We're on Bronx Stone right now. Ten Archdukes order. We are gonna use a deck that is not any of those decks. Let's rock. No. That's the deck we'll use. It's kind of a forbidden deck, just because it has Pot of Greed in it. Like, that's the only reason. But it serves a purpose, you know, it's not like just I made any deck and I just decided I want to put Pot of Greed in here. No, it's got Avatar of the Pot in it, that's why I want a Pot of Greed in there. So I could send Pot of Greed to the graveyard and draw three cards like a ballin' ass somebody. Also, we'll attack the moon if you don't mind. I doubt that you'll XYZ summon before you flip this card face up, but it's just something that we have to put up here anyway. But we'll use the effect of Catapult Zone regardless. Let's send Revival Golem. And we can't special summon now that I remember, so we'll just add it to our hand. But that also serves a purpose because more cards in my hand means Mooka Mooka does more damage. Alright. I'm gonna change that to attack position and destroy one of these things. Oh, I am glad that's gone. I'll tell you what. Can't special summon monsters, which means I can't even I can't use this as an XYZ material. We'll just set this. Just kind of forget about everything. I and mean, as long as it stays on the field, you can XYZ summon 10 Archduke, which is all that you have, and that needs to be done with three level four monsters. Okay. Let's put Tackle Crusader in here. And then the one that didn't attack gets to be put in face down defense position. How nice is that? It's pretty nice. Okay. I still need to not be held up by Express Train Trolley Ollie right now. I need to have something else work here. Change that to defense position. Kill whatever this is. Call the hump, and I'm glad that's dead too. I mean, I think at this point you just end and just kind of hold out until we get my Gaia Plate Golem or something like that. Do, 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 do. And put that into my hand. Just keep bolstering my hand. Oh, there you go. Oh my god, 10 Archduke is going to have like 5 billion attack. Thirty-eight hundred, right? No, nope, forty something. Look at that. Change its battle position. Okay, tell me I have Ragna Zero in this deck, please. No, I don't, because of course I wouldn't. I don't understand. It must just be the Earth attribute thing. What am I trying to prove? Alright. I don't have Avatar of the Pod, which kind of pisses me off. But keep up with that. Also, Punch in the Box is going to be good. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, we'll flip Golem Sentry. We'll flip summon it. That will put you into the hand next turn. And even if I would assume that you would summon a monster and then attack, since I have two monsters, 
At which point, punch in the box will kind of ruin your day. So that seems alright as well. I think we're prepared for... No, no longer prepared for any situation. I think that should count as a flip summon. That's annoying. <laughs> Shit. But I kill Call the Haunted. Use the effect of Catapult Zone? Yeah, we're just gonna take a ton of damage. Where's my Tackle Crusader? You're putting him in face down defense mode right now. He's only got 1200 defense. So that is actually quite important. The problem is you're gonna flip him directly back up. Because you can. Because you didn't do anything with him. Oh no, never mind. Other people were able to do that. I'm not really sure what the difference is. But yeah, 1200. Let's flip you. Who can we put here? All non-Earth monsters? Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy? Shitty options, man. Don't I have... I have 10 Archduke myself. So let's just do that. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess I know why I did it. It's because if uh, I have an XYZ monster that's not Earth-type in my graveyard, then I can't use Block Golem's effect. Which can be a lifesaver sometimes. You lose your attack boost, don't you? I mean, I don't want to flip you anyway. Because then we'd just kill each other. But, uh, yeah. Mm, bye, bitch. Alright, this is where we start making moves here. Lots of cards in my hand for Mooka Mooka. Pretty much maxes out at 2400 before you have to start discarding at the end of your turn. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? It's the mark of a true, cheap ass, stupid duelist. That's why Yugi sucks. Like, he's actually just a cheap motherfucker. If you've seen. Okay. Like, if you've seen him duel, just any time you think you're doing anything, he's like, Oh, no, I'm gonna use Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, and then I'm gonna use Mirror Force. Oh, and then after that, I'm gonna use Magical Hats. And then after that, I'm gonna... I don't know. Just other cheap, stupid things. And then I'm gonna try and summon Exodia. Because that's the only way I can win. I have shitty monsters in my hand. Okay, we can tribute Block Golem and get another XYZ monster. This is dark. I think we just summon mm, Kokimero Guardian. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, attack! Not so fast, Kaiba! I have Mirror Force! No, you fucker. And that's why I don't understand why people are like, "Oh, Blue Eyes White Dragon is the is the best card in the game." Like back then, back when it was like the first generation and stuff. Like, "Oh, Blue Eyes White Dragon is unstoppable. This monster is unbeatable." Well, have you met Mirror Force? Have you met Rejeki? Have you met Dark Hole? Have you met it dying and then me using Monster Reborn to summon your monster to my side of the field because I'm a bitch? Like, have you seen that? Do you know, actually, of the dozens and dozens of options that can kill Blue Eyes White Dragon? I think you need to uh, reevaluate what you think is good. Because not even Blue Eyes White Dragon can stand up to Sakuretsu armor. Okay, I'm gonna summon Mooka Mooka here, and then we're gonna also special summon Gaia Plate the Earth Giant. Let's get rid of 
you, and you. And now let's start making some waves, shall we? I think we should make some waves right now. Great job. Yeah, you can check out Revival Golem. What do you got? Nothing? Is that what you got? Is that what you just put down there? Just a big fat nothing? Am I gonna flip that card over and it's gonna be blank and it's gonna have zero attack and zero defense and it's not even gonna have a name in its slot because it's stupid? I think that's what's about to happen here. I'm gonna attack this card and it's gonna disappear into nothing. I don't know why I didn't summon a monster just now, but I get block golem's not a lot of damage to add. One and one, oh, okay. I thought one of those was active, or like ready to be active. Hey, you wanna look at Revival alone again? It's still there. I, I didn't do any magicianal tricks. Oh yeah, that's gonna stop me. What is that, Mirror Force? You got your last ditch Mirror Force out there? Unfortunately, I actually have to like take steps to prevent that from happening. Like I'm so mad that I would have to, I have to take that face down card seriously right now. So, set punch in the box, which will prevent you from doing pretty much anything. Uh, let's, You gotta go in defense mode so that we can kill this. Was it Mirror Force? Call the Haunted. Eh, it does, whatever. I guess we'll set Lost Guardian. Uh, its defense would be 2,800 right now with my four banished monsters. Which is not bad. I've yet to really use that card effectively. Because just not a lot of my cards get banished. That's all it is, really. Okay, who's after Bronx Stone? Kathy Catherine's going to use the wind-up deck. I love the wind-up deck. I forget what my fish deck is even all about. Let's use it. Did I use it earlier? I don't know. Yeah, I think I have. It's like It's got, like, golden flying fish in it. And, um, other things. It's got nimble stuff. Yeah. Okay. How about we set Call of the Haunted, then we'll set Nimble Sunfish, so when it's destroyed by battle, I'll send a fish-type monster from my deck to the graveyard. And then I will special summon another Nimble Sunfish. Oh, come on! Although, I mean, that's pretty... Like, your field's weak at this point. Although, what could that be? I don't know. Are you gonna, is it gonna, like... Is it Zen Malfunction? You're gonna double its attack, so I, I can't feel safe? Okay, let's see here. Well, I gotta summon that. I gotta put this in defense mode, I guess. Might as well. More damage this way. Also, if uh, Nimble Sunfish gets destroyed by battle, I still get a fish I get to put in there. It's stupid because the fish that I want to put in the de in the graveyard, both of which are in my hand right now. These are the two fish that I always send to my graveyard. I don't know why they have to be dicks about it. 
All right. Had to attack you with that, and just in case we were going to use Zen Malfunction. I think it's Zen Malfunction. Or no, it's Overwind. That's the card. Wind up dog. Yeah, that's what happens there. Okay, what do we send? Do we send Frilla Robka? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, for the Robka is the, is the one to go here. Do I have... I do have another Nimble Sunfish. I'll do it then. I don't know why I thought I only had two of them. Works for me, though. We can pierce... It. Oh, we can start piercing Moray's effect. I would like to do that, actually. Let's make this card something that's actually good. Tribute that shit. Have it gain 600 attack. Also, it does piercing damage just by virtue of itself, so that'll be fun for when you start to go on the defensive. If you want to make this a real easy duel, you're doing a good job. I'd prefer it, too, because I'm trying to save time here. I wasted a lot of time in the last episode. Huh. <sighs> Wind up magician. Oh. Wind up shark. Yep, that'll do it. Oh, you're gonna start making waves here. Right? Or are you just gonna freeze? There you go. Okay, wind up hunter. Card in your opponent. Please use Wind Up Hunter's effect. I want both my cards in my hand in the graveyard. Oh, come on. Wind Up Zen Mines is a good defensive bolster. If I try to attack it, it uh, doesn't die. And then if I attack it and it doesn't die, then I lose a monster. XYZ effect. That was a cheap move. Okay. I guess what we could do now is just summon Nimble Angler and then tribute it. I really don't like the idea of only having one monster on the field and no spell and trap cards. But they're not giving me a ton of options here. But I did just make Piercing Moray stronger than the strongest XYZ monster you've got. Or at least in terms of like wind up ones. Also, we just won! What do you know about that? I forget. I don't even know how to do math. Cool. Great job there. The Sylvan Blessings. Oh, boy. I don't have a lot of experience with this deck at all. Okay. I like my Frogger deck. I like the Beautifly deck, though. Yeah, let's use the Beautifly deck. I think it, it works. That's It's nice symbolism against Dextra, because her regular deck is the Butter Spy deck. And that's what I'm using. But with a combination of Butter Spy and the Jack Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight, Arcana Knight, Joker stuff going on. And it's not a good deck, but I mean, it, it's okay, I guess. So that's cool. Okay, let's see what we have here. I've got all three of what I need, I just need Palmerization. So... What did you set? Sylvan. I don't know about Sylvan. I'm afraid of Sylvan. It may take a couple duels for me to understand what ha what is happening here. What is it? Uh, reveal, add... You can add one from your graveyard to your hand, but I don't... I don't need to do that yet. If you're gonna try and, like, destroy this card, then I'll activate it, but... I'd rather wait till Palmerization's in my graveyard? We can maybe get two Arcana Knight Jokers. <laughs> you you want that card attacked, I I imagine. This monster has changed. Let's flip Command Knight. Let's summon. I mean, with the Warrior returning alive, I can afford to. I can afford to lose Queen's Knight. I'd like Queen's Knight to stay on the field so I can normal summon King's Knight on the next turn and we can get another Jack's Knight and just really kind of go ham on this thing. Z 
zeros and copy. All right. Okay. Okay, I was afraid of nothing, it appears. That's cool. You cannot target Command Knight for an attack while Queen's Knight is on the field. Special summon the plant type monster. But you can't normal summon or set during the turn you special summon with its effect. Which makes me wonder what the hell you're trying to do with copy plant. Unless you can special summon other cards. Which you can't. So what are you, what's going on here? What are you trying to do? Alright, normal summon King's Knight. And special summon Jack's Knight. I just need my polymerization. I even have them all on out in the field. Like they did they didn't need to be there. I'm just an overachiever. Uh what am, what am, what are you doing? There we go. Okay, weakest card attack. Excuse you. Yeah. I'm just trying to hold circles so it doesn't do the effects all day. Oh, we almost won. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, you want to banish that? Okay. I guess. And that is the only card that I did have two of in my possession, so I'm glad you picked that one. What do you got? I haven't seen a single Sylvan card, so I think you're just a pretender to the throne. Oh, is this what you're going to do? You're going to freeze the game? That's what happens here? Yeah. Send Lone Fire Blossom to the graveyard. That's unfortunate. Bet you wanted that to... Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, baby. No, I don't need to chain an effect. Not yet, anyway. This just became a very bad day for you. I mean, it already wasn't going that well, and now it's just shit. Wrapped in pita bread or something. Okay. Yeah, we may activate Fusion Reserve now. I would like to add Queen's Knight. And yeah, return that. Thanks. Then we'll use Warrior Returning Alive and bring me Jack's Knight. Because I would rather have Jack's Knight than King's Knight at this point. And the reason for that is because I'm stupid. But also... I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really matter which one I picked. We kind of won, so that's really the important thing to note here. Summon Morpho Butterspy. Why not? You know, right? Uh, bye. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. That was really short. I think we can afford to do another one. Don Thousand. Void of the Infernoid. Infernoid, whatever. Mmm. Let's do Beautifly again. I don't know if you got a big enough taste of that deck. I mean, you you saw the ultimate, like, thing that we want to happen. But there's a lot of stuff having to do with butterfly stuff that works, too. Alright, Infernoid cards prefer that they have no cards in their hand. Okay. And he's got no cards in his hand. As well, the total, uh, but yeah, cannot be. When this card destroys an opponent's monster, you can activate this effect card and make a second attack in a row. All right, that's nifty. Once per turn during either player's turn, tribute a monster or target a card. Your opponent's graveyard banish it. All right, so you can attack twice. That's basically all that I have to worry about with you. Oh, and I do have Black Lester Soldier. Because the Butter Spies are all dark, and the Queen Jack King's Knights are all light. So it's a nice balance. Yin-yang, you know? Oh, it's unfortunate that we don't have King's Knight. I have reinforcements of the army, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, yeah, I know I do, because it would be so stupid if I didn't in this deck. Uh, it gains a thousand attack. Monsters destroyed by battle with it are returned to the hand instead of going to the graveyard. Shit, if we had King's Knight... No, that wouldn't work either. King's Knight's 1700, I think. Or maybe it's 1800. I don't even remember. All I know is that Queen's Knight has to be set. And we're gonna take some damage this turn. We are gonna take damage this turn. And we're gonna just ruin everything I've got. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, there's a problem here. Well, you can't attack twice unless you attack a monster first, though. And apparently you can attack during the turn you activate the effect. Good. A-forces. We just lost, so let's surrender. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Fire pets. Yeah. If it is fire attribute and it is some kind of animal, it's in my deck. Got dragons, I got beasts, I got winged beasts. I think I have beast warriors. I somehow I just knew that they were gonna put two Feng Wong in my f deck. Or in my hand, I mean. Oh my god. Whatever, I'm gonna negate attack and it's gonna be fine, right? No, no, I don't, I don't think I want you to be able to do that. I mean, you may disagree, but it's not really up to you when I'm the one holding the trap cards. Dragon Shrine. Yes. I'm trying, which one am I trying to send here? Don't be! Since when can you do that? Wait, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, you're just banishing? Okay, I don't care. <laughs> Still be 2400, that's not enough. This would be enough. But I don't have a dragon type monster to tribute for it. I want it back, but it's not strong enough. If at some point you try and banish Dark Blaze Dragon, I will be forced to use Call of the Haunted. Oh, that's great. I think this is all gonna work out. Those are the cannot when this special summon destroy all other monsters on the field, but you didn't. Once per turn you know a spell trap card, you tribute one monster, negate the activation, you do banish that card. Hmm, maybe you're gonna tribute. No, you wouldn't. I'm just gonna save myself from some life points here. And then not do it this time, because that's a waste. I need my card for me. Hmm? Yeah? This'll help. Can you bring it back, though? I think you can. I think you're gonna bring it back. Yep, there it goes right back. And now oh, I leave. 
I mean, that was a nice way to get rid of some stuff, but it's not working. For some... They're just giving me the high-level cards. I don't know what it is with this deck. I have low-level cards. But they don't tell me what... They don't give them... They don't give me them. So retarded. You know what? Take the attack. I don't care. I'm gonna need Dark Blaze Dragon if I'm gonna mount any sort of thing here, so I just have to take the damage. Hey, that's pretty nice. Yeah, let me just do that. I think too many of your cards are banished. You can't, you at least can't put that one back on the field. Ignoring its summoning conditions? Come on now. Oh, that was mean. I'm so mad that you made me do this. <sighs> hey, how about a card that I can use? They have no concept of tributes, like what I need to make this happen. I don't know what the, what their deal is. Why do they? Why do you do this to me? Can I outlast them? Is that possible? Nope, you're just doing the exact same thing you did last time. But you can't put the other one down. I'm actually kind of glad that you keep doing that, because then I keep getting him instead of, like, having to shuffle him into my deck. That's how you're actually doing me a solid there. So that's cool. problem will be as soon as you can summon any other monster after you use that effect. If I had Swords of Revealing Light, I could start the cycle of Raging Flame Sprite, but they're probably not going to give me that. Oh, three more. You can put 3,000 or back on the field now. Oh, no, you're going to do that instead. Okay, that's cool. Maybe if you just run out of cards. See, now here's a card I can actually do something with. But I can't, yet, because 2,000 defense. Once per turn, target... Yeah, but once per turn, during your opponent's turn, tribute one monster, then target one card in your opponent's graveyard. Banish it, right? Yeah. Ah, <sighs> Time Lord it is. Because I've got no other options here. You can keep returning cards to the hand, so I can't afford that unless it's Matayan. Oh, shit. Well, but that's all you've got. Okay. I mean, that's that might save me if you've got something that'll uh, make that be painful for me. So let's say it's that once per yeah once per turn target one face up card your opponent controls returns to the hand. I need a way to kill that card and I can't believe I don't have it. I think we can just keep time lording it until he runs out of cards that he can no longer banish stuff and then he can no longer summon it and then we'll have a free uh, free field to be on. Unless the token is something that you can banish. Yep, yeah, yeah, you can. Well, then we do need to get rid of that. Oh, my God. Cannot target this card with card effects. That's nice, but... Because here's what happens if I don't keep putting this card back in his hand. 
token happens during his standby phase. Now he's got two monsters to tribute. Well, from your hand or graveyard, though. So a to uh, that's not the card I have to worry about then. But still, I have to keep doing this. And I, you know, I'm I'm doing 300 damage per turn. Can we just keep this up until such things happen? What is it trying to chain? Oh, no, no, no. No, don't activate that. <laughs> okay, now we got a discard. Yeah, you can have one of my Fang Huangs. Or... Yeah, take my Fang Huang. I only need one of them. And I don't really even need that one at this moment in time. I will do this all day. Like, you don't even understand. I will. Spicy Spy. Look at one random card. Card gains two... Gains a thousand attack. That's pretty iffy. What a... I have to keep Time Lording until I get a card that can protect against the idea of being attacked. Believe me, I wish I didn't have to. Alright, discard. Yeah, you can have Tyrant Dragon. No, you can have... Yeah. I mean, if I could draw Decoy Dragon, that would be something that could work. Oh, there's a card. Oh, it's happening. Oh, oh but you didn't, you're not doing nothing. Okay. But now this is going to get shuffled into my deck, unfortunately. Unless I can use Circle of the Fire Kings real quick. I could do that. Wait, can it be destroyed by... Oh, can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, so. And if you do, yeah, it won't work. Shoot. Okay, but Circle of the Fire Kings is very good. 3200, zero. Of course, what would I be trying to special summon here? I can't special summon Tyrant Dragon, because I wouldn't have a dragon type to tribute. I could special summon Dark Blaze Dragon, but that's not strong enough. Mm. It, your opponent cannot target this card until it affects. Hazy Flame Cerberus. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. I have, I have, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to do it. I can target it with card effects. I guess we select that card. And then Hazy is destroyed. So I can add this Hazy. Yeah, I can special summon this card from my hand. Which is neat. But that doesn't truly help me at all. At least, it would help me next turn if I could survive. Oh, you don't even have uh, those cards anymore. Okay. 32. I'll live if you attack me. I still got 800 left. I 
I think we gotta have you in defense mode for uh, safekeeping. I yeah. I should have put you in defense mode probably, but I I think I'll settle for killing this token. At least it helps kind of. Just do not get legendary Maju Guards it, because that would ruin my day. Okay, that's okay. Hazy Flame Griffin. Oh, man. If I'd gotten one of those, that could have worked. I could have gotten Utopia Victory. would have sent these guys to zero. Damn. I don't have a way that I can destroy Fencing Fire Ferret by myself. I need somebody else to do it. So we're going to set this... Three Banish cards, Return of the Grave. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Huh. <sighs> what happens? Yeah, yeah, just some of that. Just some of that stuff. Yeah, kill that. That's fine. Then you get to do that. But that's the only time you get to attack. Now I can kill this and then not negate my own effect. We lived! We are still living. Air's Rock Sunrise could bring... Will, well, I mean, it will bring a monster back. But is it going to be a good enough one? If you do currently in your graveyard. That's a lot, actually, isn't it? Let's see. Which rank monster would I use? Rank 4. I need a card that can kill... Maybe Silent Honor Arc can equip Infernoid Anatel to it. Or I could get Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon to lower its attack, which might be better, because then this card is far less likely to take battle damage that will kill me. I don't know, it just kind of depends on what these two cards are. Alright, but we gotta activate this. Don't you dare. Oh my god, you can do that? I'm so pissed off at that. We just lost. No, we didn't, actually. Although we kind of... There's still... Hmm. Let me, let me see about this. It depends on what else I've got here. As long as I can't only summon like a level 6 with Flamvel Fire Dog, really, I can't attack you, or I have to attack you. Why do I have to attack you? Your opponent cannot sit with the highest level. Oh, okay. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.